Hey guys, I wanted to do a follow-up video to the video that we did regarding the mixer setup that we had over on the left. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about what the audio settings on your computer actually are in order for the mixer settings to actually work. So I'm going to go over the gaming PC, the streaming PC, as well as the OBS setup. So first, if you follow the diagram that's in the original video that shows the stereo setup guide, follow all the wiring that's on that, which is exactly what I have here on the mixer. Um, all of the wiring that I have, including which buttons to press, which knobs to turn, uh, how to balance everything out is all in that video and in that diagram that's linked in that video. Now we're gonna go right over into the gaming PC. So here we're looking at the gaming PC. What I've done is I've gone down into the bottom right hand corner. I've right clicked my sound options and went to playback devices. I don't know if it's gonna do that. There we go. Clicked playback devices and this screen pops up here. So what you'll see is that my speakers for the game PC are my default device, default playback device. Now for recording, which allows you to set your microphone, I have my microphone as my default recording device. Now let's go over to the stream PC. As we go over to the stream PC, we do the same thing. Right click down here at the bottom, go to playback devices, and you get this screen. So for sound, again, we do default device, which is our speakers. Now this is actually gonna be the line that goes back into the mixer, but it also allows us to broadcast the desktop audio flawlessly within OBS, and I'll show you that in a second. In terms of recording device, you'll see we have a lot of different opportunities to, to select the wrong one. Uh, so we have our two webcams that we have for streaming, which are picking up my audio here. But the actual default device is going to be your USB audio codec that's coming in from your mixer. So this is my default device. You can see that it barely goes up in terms of green, and that's just because of the levels I have everything set as. Now, as we go over to OBS here, I'm going to show you the OBS Studio setup. I do use OBS Studio. It's a lot easier because it allows you to separate your stream PC line in, your microphone line in, and your desktop audio device. So what you'll see here is I have my sample rate set to 48 kilohertz. Uh, one of the things that's a little bit important in most cases is to make sure that your sample rate on both your gaming PC and your streaming PC are consistent across all of your inputs uh, and, and playback devices. If you set everything to 16-bit 48 kilohertz, there won't be any issues with some drivers or codecs not properly encoding the audio from one to the other. I have it, of course, at stereo, and then I choose my desktop audio device. So this is the playback device from the stream PC. You'll see all of the audio options that we have here. I just choose default, because if you set up the default properly, it'll run properly. If you don't want to choose default, in this instance, you would choose speakers, Realtek High Definition Audio. Um, of course, I always recommend you keep your drivers updated in this case. Now for our microphone, so this is OBS picking up the microphone that it's going to broadcast as the microphone. We use the mixer mic in USB audio codec. You could also change it to default as well. I prefer to select that and make sure that it is appropriately selected. Now we have another option. Here we are choosing our secondary device. This effectively is the, is the gaming PC. So this is how OBS picks up the gaming PC and we choose line in. When we choose line in, it's choosing the line that comes out of the gaming PC and into the stream PC, whether through the mixer or like I have it in the stereo diagram, uh, directly from the game PC to the stream PC. Now what's really important, and I think some people miss this, although it, it sometimes happens automatically, is that if you right click on your little um, taskbar items and you see this Realtek Audio Manager, right click it and go to Sound Manager. Your, your device, your Realtek driver software will be managed here. One of the things that you want to make sure is registered is to make sure that uh, your input jacks, like a line in or a microphone, 
are input de devices. Um, you can also choose it as separate all, but you want to make sure that it allows the recognition of essentially the line in and the microphone at the same time. Sometimes there's certain setups in different uh, device settings from Realtek that if you have a microphone and a line in, they're both viewed as a singular microphone, and so you can't separate them. You want to make sure that's possible in order to have this set up for your stream PC and allow OBS to, to monitor this. So one thing I want to show within my OBS that I don't often get to show um, is that I actually have three different audio devices that are picking up my voice. Here you hear the mic audio that's going up and you see my voice here. This is my actual microphone that's sitting above uh, my setup. So it's that microphone that's there and you see it broadcasting here. Microphone aux 2 is anything that I play on the gaming PC. So for example, if we open this up, we go to any YouTube, start playing the very first YouTube we see, it will start playing, and over here on OBS you'll see that mic aux 2 has this input volume going up and down. Um, desktop audio is still blank, and this is from the stream PC. So anything that I would play onto the stream PC, so if I do the same thing on the stream PC, go to YouTube, play anything on YouTube, first video that we see, and it starts to play, you'll see that the desktop audio here is playing the YouTube. My microphone is picking up the microphone that's above me that you guys saw earlier, and the microphone aux 2 is picking up the game PC. Now within this mix, I can actually tune everything within whatever the volume is for each one of the devices. You could also do this on your mixer or you could do it within OBS. I tend to always try to keep this within the mixer itself by tuning, turning down the faders as needed or turning down the volume on my game PC. And the reason being is because then I don't have to constantly adjust OBS and where it's at. Uh, right now everything's really loud because I turned up my YouTube volume uh, earlier on my game PC, which I typically turn back down uh, when I go to actually stream. So uh, just wanted to let you guys know exactly what the setup is for the audio and how it's visualized on my stream PC when I'm actually streaming. So when I'm streaming, I'm constantly monitoring this audio. If you guys actually pay attention, my voice is typically right here. So when you see the, mock, the mic aux line, you see how much louder my voice is versus desktop audio. And you'll see that it peaks a little bit higher as well than the mic audio um, aux 2, which is the game PC. So by having my voice being louder than the desktop audio, which is the YouTube content that's playing on my stream PC, and also louder than the game audio, uh, make sure that my voice comes through as the first item. And then typically I actually have the music or the desktop audio be the secondary device. And then the game PC or the gameplay sounds that come through as the third device. Anyway, as typical, if there are any questions that are associated with this video, feel free to comment. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you dislike it. I am going to link this video in the other video to make sure that it's all set up properly. Thank you all and have a great day.